Live from the CBS Broadcast Center, this is CBS 2 News at Noon. I'm going to go to Yonkers and see my grandkids. It's a day they've been waiting for since the start of the pandemic. Nursing home residents and staff in our area start receiving the coronavirus vaccine. Now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBSN New York, we begin with the next step in the coronavirus vaccine rollout. Today is the first day New York State is giving shots to residents and staff in long-term care communities. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us now live from the Hebrew home at Riverdale in the Bronx with more. John. Yeah, good afternoon, Mayor. And the mayor is saying as of yesterday, more than 18,000 uh, doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been administered within New York City. And today, well, that number continues to grow. It's a day Kelly Dixon has been eagerly awaiting and getting Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> and today it happened. Because I want to continue living. You know, I have a lot of faith in these, the scientists. The Bronx man will be 79 in February, but spent most of 2020 at the Hebrew home at Riverdale when he was offered the chance to be one of the first long-term facility residents in New York State to get the vaccine. He jumped at the opportunity. There's a multitude of things to do. But I still want to see what's out in the real world. For the last 10 months following guidelines, the Riverdale Retirement Home hasn't allowed visitors. With the vaccine, the hope is that can change in the new year. One of our residents was telling me about how she has two new great-grandchildren that have been born since March, and she hasn't had a chance to hug them. Getting the shot alongside Dixon, the center's medical director. We'd always rather prevent disease than have to treat disease, so this is a real game-changer for us. He says he's pleased with the state's rollout of the vaccine. Today, several other long-term facility residents and staff across New York got it. They're second in line to health care workers. Without a doubt, the geriatric population, specifically the nursing home population, are so vulnerable, and we We've seen that both in New York State and we've seen that around the country. The mayor saying today New York City is administering the vaccine twice as fast as the rest of the country. As of yesterday, 42.2 percent have been administered. Nationwide, it's under 20 percent have been administered. And 149,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine should be coming to New York City this week. That uh, primarily remains health care workers. Uh, including people in uh, community health centers. As for Dixon, the first thing he wants to do when allowed... I'm going to go to Yonkers and see my grandkids. Now, the Hebrew Home Center, uh, the CEO here telling us that the first people here at his center getting the vaccine today are residents with dementia. He says that they've been having a hard time, you know, following precautions. They're hoping, though, that by Wednesday that all 600 residents will get the first dose of the vaccine. They're trying to do 200 a day. And then, of course, in a few weeks from now, they're going to have to get that second dose. We're live this afternoon from the Riverdale section of the Bronx. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.